We are working on employee analytics software. We collect data about employees through ongoing peer-to-peer -peer evaluations and then use artificial intelligence to provide these sites on employees. I will talk about major benefits of the software and I will quickly demo the product. We, our software gathers more feedback, more timely feedback, actionable feedback, and more transparent feedback. Employees provide peer-to-peer -peer evaluations. Evaluations are quantitative and qualitative. In addition to this, rather than employees freely providing evaluations, we developed automated system of incentives, rewards, reminders, and penalties that incentivizes employees to provide evaluations. For example, one of the biggest incentive for an employee to provide feedback to another employee is desire to see your feedback. Basically, in our software, unless you meet required number of weekly evaluations, you are not able to see the feedback that you receive. Also, you will receive notification that somebody evaluated you. And after we implemented this feature, we have seen number of evaluations on average given by per employee increased by 65%. We are the only feedback platform in the industry in which employees actually provide feedback to each other. And this is a big need from employees because everyone is wondering what I'm doing right, what I'm not doing well, what I need to improve, and what my coworkers think about me. This is excellent tool for managers. We are empowering managers with advanced technology to synthesize employees all strengths and weaknesses, show their evolution through time, and even make predictions about employees' future performance. Our tool analyzes all the data and tries to provide insights that are as easily understandable as possible and is as sophisticated at the same time. Our tool is excellent for managers, either in a small companies, medium-sized companies, or large companies, because this problem of making decisions, who should be fired, or who should be promoted, or whose compensation should change, this is a very hard decision to make, and we don't want anyone to make a mistake in that. And our software is exactly helping companies to make smarter decisions about compensation, about promotions and about other things. Our software is very easy to set up. It takes two minutes to set up and uh, literally 30 seconds to accustom yourself to the software. I can say we are only software in the market that requires no training. No training is required in order to become expert in the software. And that's one of the beauty of using our software. When it comes to business model, we charge $8 per employee per month. That's a uh, that's, uh, market rate, by the way, and it's something that our one of the market players are paying for a similar product that is less of a quality. I will, I will show you guys uh, the product right now. Let me just quickly get the website. So website is divided into, into three major sections. This is gathering data, peer-to-peer -peer feedback. You can select name of an employee. You select attributes, for example, creativity. You provide quantitative score. You write one or two sentences, click submit, and it's done. It's happening several times a month, which means that the employees receive timely feedback and actionable feedback. Currently in the market, employees receive feedback, usually at the end of the quarter, the end of the six months, or at the end of the year. And that's usually too late. If somebody is doing something not great, he should be given feedback about it right now and not after six months when it's too late. And I talked briefly about how we incentivize, incentivize employees to evaluate each other through our system of rewards, reminders, and penalties. Second part of our software is to understand accuracy of evaluations. One of the biggest problems in peer-to-peer -peer feedback and in employee analytics in general is that employees provide biased evaluations. And our goal is to use AI to understand how accurate evaluators employees are. 
we take into account our dozen variables in determining accuracy of evaluations. Furthermore, we ask intelligent questions. We use statistical models to determine who should evaluate who, on what metric, and when. And final part is users' information and analytics. Here we can see all the strengths and weaknesses of an employee. Weighted scores are scores that's, that are powered by AI and unweighted are raw scores that are given by employees. Weighted scores take into account many variables. I can mention one of them is uh, time, time decay, which is basically evaluations that you receive yesterday, you received yesterday, counts more heavily in your user score than evaluation you received two months ago. Simple reason is people change throughout the time. Or I can talk about proximity, believability, and so on and on. Goal is to find out the truth. Find out what a person is like. It's a subject that we have been working on a lot in the last couple of months. I will try to summarize quickly. We are a team of, team of entrepreneurs. Our, we are a team, uh, team from Harvard University. I graduated from Harvard College myself. Our other team members are doing Harvard Physics PhD, Harvard Grad School in Computer Science, and we worked in Wall Street, in Google, Facebook, Microsoft. So if you guys get interested to try our software, please see me afterwards. Thank you very much. <laughs> Questions? Now, the evaluation is really anonymous? Or? That's an excellent question. So we had huge debate about whether to make it anonymous or open and decided to give that decision-making power to companies. So you can customize as a company whether you want it to be open or anonymous. So, uh, you have shown the list of So basically, when employee registers, he selects, or actually, when HR department registers an employee into the company, he can register which team this person is working, who is his manager, and then we can try to understand how closely those employees are working based on which team and department they are. That's very important. Have you got any objections from HR Yeah, so basically we found that 90% of the feedback that employees provide to each other is mostly <laughs> positive, but we actually had cases when people provided very uh, not nice things to each other. And our software can flag those, uh, those uh, evaluations, alerts this to HR, and then HR can make decision what to do about those evaluations, so it's excellent. That's an excellent point, and one of the things that we do is to measure how tough or soft evaluator an employee is. For example, this shows, compared to the mean, how this person is directly in the mean right now, how soft or tough evaluator a person is. And we found that in different departments, people provide more tougher or softer evaluations. And if we want to make cross-department comparison, we take those things into account. So. We, for example, will weight a person's evaluation based on how tough or soft evaluators surrounding people are. So that's an excellent point. You mentioned that uh, when the system works, you find out that uh, find out something biased. And you also mentioned that you know that most of the evaluations are positive. Um, I work for. A
It's an excellent point. So is it actually true? Most people provide positive evaluations or they don't provide anything. <laughs> so mean is inflated. But it's all about reality <laughs> comparison. You can compare one employee to another employee. Also mean will be inflated, but this relativity will make you will help you to understand how good or bad job a person is doing. Guessing that there's a dashboard for HR if they wanted to promote someone or fill a position that needed great time management skills, there's a way of them easily getting to the most, the best candidate through the platform? Can you say it one more time? Um, so if I'm trying to find someone with great time management skills, I can go onto the platform and see, okay, which of my employees are the most qualified? Exactly, that's an excellent point. So we also do company rankings. And company rankings can be done by the attributes. So you can search who is the best in logical thinking, and you can get that information where it's located. Thank you very much, guys.